Let's take a look at exercises four, five, and six here. Number four, write a program that declares and initializes three char variables, one each for your first, middle, and last initial. Use system out print line uh, to print out uh, using the label initials first and then each of the values of the variables. So let's do this. Let's go ahead and create a new class. We'll call this, well, they called it MI. We'll go ahead and do that for middle initial. I'll put a main in here, control space, enter, control shift F. We'll auto format it, make sure the indenting is pretty. And uh, three chars. So char fi for first initial equals j, char mi for middle initial equals p, and char li for last initial equals r. There we go. Now we want to just print them out. We want to print out the word initials, colon, space, and then each of these, fi plus mi plus um, li, last initial. That's what they're looking for us to do. I'll save it to make sure it compiles cleanly. Oh, I've got a problem. Oh, I left off a plus. <laughs> Want to concatenate these things together. Save that away again. Push run. And it's displaying the initials here one after another. That's all good and fine. Uh, if we look at number five, it says change what you did in number four to use the Unicode escapes instead of the character literals. And so you would end up doing backslash u and the uh, and I think they wanted us to use hex values 0041 is a and I'm not going to do my same letters or maybe I'll make my way there uh, I don't remember all this stuff as well as maybe I should uh, I don't know I'll do 51 61 71 see what comes out of that <laughs> run that through uh, too big of numbers here yep so uh, you know, the fastest thing for me to do, well, it's probably faster for me not to waste your time and just uh, uh, step through this. What I'm looking to do is go up to like a, a bigger number than 49, like 4A and 4F, for example. But uh, it'd take me too long to come up with my initials. So we'll call, I'm, let's say it's IJO now. <laughs> Hex values, uh, they count all the way up to the letter F for each one of these, so uh, it would take me too long to come up with my, my three. You got the idea. You get the picture there. Number six, what happens if we do the printout and only have the three char variables but not the string initials? All right, I'm going to switch back to my JPR here just so it's going to be easier for me to explain. And we want to take off the word initials colon. So we're doing something like that, and we're pushing run. And interestingly enough, we end up with 236. <laughs> That's the value we got. Huh? <laughs> it was supposed to be JPR. Well, remember, each letter represents a number behind the scenes. So J, if 65 is A, J is like 75. And P would be something like, oh, I don't know, 80-something, 80 82 or so. And R is going to be, I don't know, 84 or so. And so when we add those numbers together, we end up with something probably closer to 236. So anytime you're just printing out the character, well, it's not just that. Let me do this first just to kind of demonstrate. If I just want to print out first initial, it looks great, right? It's printing out J. But the real problem is the plus sign. Plus only has special meaning for strings. When working with chars, plus goes back to an arithmetic add operator. So it's adding the underlying values together. And I'm sure I didn't quite get these numbers right, but close enough, hopefully, so you get the feel for what's, what's going on here. By putting the label in front of it, whether we say initials or something else, we now have a string with a plus afterwards, and so that plus means concatenate rather than plus meaning do arithmetic. I suppose if we really wanted to do the arithmetic, we can change the order of operations. You can sit throw a set of parentheses, and this says, well, do this part in the parens first. So it'll add those together using mathematical addition, and then it'll concatenate, and you'll end up seeing 
that, that math value instead. I think we're better off without the uh, number. We're better off with the actual letters.